In this Final Cut Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a chroma key screen replacement with M-Tracker 3D from Motion VFX, like this. Thanks to Beyond Human Vision for your tutorial request. If you have any specific tutorials that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll pick your request for a future tutorial. With that said, let's get into it. If you have ever wanted to replace a screen on a moving shot, then M-Tracker 3D makes things so much easier and faster. You can of course use keyframes to get similar results without a tracker, but it takes so much longer and the results aren't as good. This is the result I got after spending two minutes with M-Tracker 3D. And this is the result after 10 minutes with manual tracking and keyframing. As you can see, the manual keyframing method isn't nearly as good as it would be if you did it with a tracker like M-Tracker 3D. Honestly, if I spent more time on it, I could probably get a slightly better result doing it manually, but it just takes too long. If you're not familiar with M-Tracker 3D, I did a review on it a while back where I go over what it's capable of, and I'll leave a link to that video down below. I'll also leave a link to M-Tracker 3D down below if you're interested in purchasing the plugin. Let's head over to Final Cut Pro. I've got this shot here with the green screen and the tracking points, and I've got this shot of this cool little dog. Both of these shots are from Artgrid, and if you're looking for high quality stock footage, Artgrid is the place to go. I'll leave a link in the description down below for that as well. The first thing I'm going to do is add the M-Tracker 3D plugin to this clip, and if you have a look at the motion in this clip, you'll see that there's not a lot of camera movement, it's mostly the woman that moves this tablet around. So because of that, I'm going to set the movement from free to tripod, which means I'll get a better track on this kind of shot. I'll go ahead and hit track, and depending on your computer's performance and the resolution of the clip you're trying to track, this might take a minute or two. I'll speed that up. And once the track is done, I'll hit copy track, and then I'll drag this drop zone on top of my clip. I'll use that to put this clip of the dog in place of that green screen. I'll go to the end of the clip and I'll retime it to fit using the shortcut Alt and square bracket, and then I'll go ahead and I will paste the track. As you can see, my tracking data has been successfully saved, and then I'll go ahead and I'll turn animation in and out off. I want to make sure that this stays on the whole time, I don't want it animating in or out. Then I'll go ahead and get rid of the shadow by just turning that off over here. And then I need to position this track onto one of these tracking points. So I'll just do that by clicking on it over there. And I want to add the clip of the dog into this clip well. So I'll select that and just select the first frame of this clip of the dog. I'll hit apply clip. And it doesn't always happen, but it looks like it's done at this time where the dog is a still frame. I'm not sure why that happens, but if that happens to you, all you need to do is select your footage that you're trying to put on the screen. Hit Alt G to make a compound clip and then we'll go and reselect the clip from the drop zone. Just selecting that compound clip and I'll hit apply clip. Now if I play that back, you'll see that the dog moves. Okay, next I need to position this so that it covers this green screen. Depending on the angle of the screen you're working with, this might take a little bit of finessing to get it right. And you don't have to get it perfect, but it does help if you get pretty close. I'm happy with that position and now the next step is to duplicate this clip underneath by holding down alt and I can just drag and drop that on top of my drop zone. Next I want to go and add my Kia effect which I can do from the effects browser. If you need to refine the key you can always use the sample color section to make sure you're selecting the green. Then I'll go ahead here and what I normally do is switch it to map view just to check what the key looks like and you can see there's a little bit of spill here so I'll fill these holes by dragging this slider up just to get rid of that and make it a little cleaner. I'll switch back to composite view and now I need to remove these tracking points. I can do that with my draw mask. I'll drag and drop that onto the clip and I'll need to add keyframes for this. So I'll jump to the beginning of the clip before I draw my mask and I'll just draw my mask around these tracking points like that. I'll hit invert and if I move through here, you'll see that I do need to keyframe those points. So I'll set a keyframe on all my control points at the beginning of the clip, and I'll just adjust these points at the end of the clip. Now, you don't have to go frame by frame. What I like to do is hit Control-V to show my keyframes, and then I'll go between these two keyframes 
and I'll adjust the control points in the middle. Then I'll jump between the first keyframe and that keyframe somewhere in the middle and I'll adjust the keyframes again. You can kind of scrub through the whole clip doing this until you're happy with the keyframes that you've got for this mask. I'll hit Ctrl V again to hide my keyframes and then I want to grade this clip to make it match the rest of the footage a little bit better. So I'll come over to my color wheels and I'll drop the highlights a little bit. I'll drop the shadows, I'll boost the mids and I'll probably saturate it a little bit more and I'll make the global color adjustment here more towards orange, maybe a little bit of red, just to match the color that we've got in the scene. This is before and this is after. Here is the final result. As you can see, the track works incredibly well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to like this video and to leave your comments down below for your tutorial ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.